what's great about fashion, what isn't great about fashion stuff? <laughs> Well, I mean, listen, we, we've created a program that um, is, I think is modern, it's entertaining, it's got heart, it's got business, it's got soul, it's got three great iconic mentors between Jessica, John and Nicole, three huge retailers, uh, H&M, Saks and, and Macy's, and a really, really cool f format that's modern and really uh, takes advantage of technology as we're seeing it today. Great, wonderful team behind it. Um, with Electus and NBC in America at the moment. So, you know, it's a fun project to be here at Myth um, talking about. I think there are a lot of elements in this show that, you know, are incredibly ambitious, but also make it both innovative and completely new and something you haven't seen before. And one of those elements is unlike other shows where the most dynamic relationship between audience and show is a phone call, here the audience could actually buy clothes that night that are exclusively available at the different retailers online uh, platforms and then in store and wear that winner the next day and that's a really profound uh, part of cultural connection that we see a lot of the audience want and then there's a whole bunch of the audience that is just watching the show in the same passive rhythm they watch other television for all its heart and emotion and dream fulfillment because not only over the course of the series, does someone win a prize? But each episode, someone can win a prize. This program is, there have been programs that are about how to make a dress. This is really about how to sell a dress or how to buy a dress because as a consumer, we can then go in immediately and buy something that we love. How to wear a dress. We see it come down the runway and we say, gosh, I love that t-shirt. I love that jean jacket. I love those leather pants. How do I put it together? What should my hair look like? How, what shoes do I wear? So it's a sort of style direction for people that are watching the program, for men and women. It's not just directed at women. And it's a, it's a great insight into what it takes to get great clothes in the stores. And of course, we see the behind scenes on how to make uh, a product. But it's as much about shopping as anything else. And shopping, of course, is global. Just as our aspiring designers were building out their collection, trying to anticipate what a spring-summer trend would be, so was Elle and John Varvatos and Jessica and Nicole on their own collections. So it was really cool to see how does people approach trend and approach creative decision making inside the world of clothing and fashion and how that would feel when it comes to air and how relevant is neon the right choice for right now you know is black what the new orange you know all of those kind of uh, thought processes are fascinating for the audience to kind of see revealed so that they're a little bit more informed as they you know choose their own Make style their choices. Yeah. and more than that uh, as well there is this element of when you see somebody who comes who you know who doesn't have enough money to make clothes and who makes uh, tiny little with little swabs of fabric clothes on a wooden doll like this and you understand her story what it's taken for her to get to this place where she's presenting now a collection to Macy's or a garment to Macy's we feel for that person and you say I believe in what she stands for and I want to buy something of her so it's like conscious consumerism people are tapping into stories to heartfelt stories that that resonate with them and want a piece of that and they do that actively by buying clothes and I just I think that is a really cool aspect of this program. Ben is the perfect partner uh, for this project and when I went to see him th three or four years ago I yeah. said I really wanted to work in television and to do something that was um, combining business and fashion and I didn't have the format I didn't know the game show part of it but I knew that that was an element that was something that I had a, a personal feeling about because so much of my career was not necessarily just about design but about sales and and I love this program because it really encapsulates my body of my career in many ways. We've um, licensed the finished episodes for sale to over 75 markets and are also rolling out the format. We're incredibly excited about setting up local versions and bringing this to life in multiple markets. Channel 10 in Australia has bought the finished episodes and optioned the format. Hopefully I can uh, convince Al to come in and actually be the host and, and uh, clearly the exec producer in that market as well. So we're having a lot of fun here. I think people are slowly understanding how layered and fascinating this show is and how innovative and transformational. And I think we're in a new 
moment for alternative television where there's also no ceiling on the talent you can bring to these shows. You know, people like John, like Elle, like Nicole, like Jessica were huge reaches for us, but we were able to have them all come to play. And I think you're seeing that if, as you look at the new cast of The Voice in Australia, and you're just seeing the level of talent that's drawn to TV growing and growing. I think there's no more snobbery, and there's a real acceptance and awareness that TV is not only the people's medium, it's an art, the best artistic medium. Well, I think we're, we're going to really want to find the right characters tied to those retail platforms, but I think there's a lot of ways to do it on local markets because we didn't go as commerce heavy. We went a little bit more kind of Main Street brick and mortar company that maybe had a commerce play. Even H&M itself um, does its selling via the NBC website because they don't do commerce on their own website. And so we're just looking for partners who are thinking innovative and willing to, the real thing is willing to make sure that we get the clothes ready so that in that market they'd be available that night. It's, it's almost more that we're the winner and that the final judgment is made by people who have skin in the game than which brands are necessarily correlating to. Well, first of all, it really helps having a great partner and a great product and a product that I'm so proud of. It's very hard. I've been, we've all been to these sorts of things where you've had something that, that's been, you know, not quite as um, excited about. So having a great product, a great partner, and also being here in Cannes and, and as a producer for me has been a really wonderful experience. Yeah, it's, it's excellent. Perfect platform for us and it was great to be able to have Elle come down and, and be here as we're sitting in the Palais in, in our booth and, you know, and talking about the shows and, and making sure that people understand how dynamic and exciting it is. And I think when they hear it, not only from us as producers and distributors, but from our, from our host and exec producing partner, you, you, the excitement builds.